How you doing, Bo? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. That's great. We've just performed at the Gloucester Blues Festival 09. You had a good time? Oh, I had a great time. It was really good. A little, little bit chilly, but uh, I've been living in Queensland and we just drove down. And uh, Yeah, it's a bit like that. Uh, awesome crowd, awesome band, and uh, it was great to see you with the band tonight. Uh, this guitar that you've got here, can you tell us a bit about it? Who actually made it? Well, it's an Aussie guitar. It's a, guy, a fellow named John Conkle who makes these things, and uh, he makes probably about 12 or so guitars a year. He's been doing it for quite a while now, and uh, they're, they're, it's a totally different concept. From regular guitars, where uh, the bracing and everything, it's more like a, a fiddle or a violin, the way right. everything's done. And if you see the sides, the way <laughs> it's just, there's a lot of attention to them. That's something I did so I could see them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going blind. But um, it is, it's a truly, it's it's a, a very, uh, here in Pine, he, he got, it's a long story about that, but uh, he's, he's doing them off other woods, but he uses exclusively Aussie woods in his guitars. Bo, you've, you've been playing a long time, uh, originally from the States. Whereabouts in the States are you from? I'm from Arkansas, Helena, Arkansas. 13 Arkansas. miles from the crossroads. 13 <laughs> miles from the crossroads. Yeah. There's a movie about that, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My um, grand. You're a left-handed guitar player, uh, and you've, you've given me a bit of a rundown on, on the guitar. You've got one neck which is tuned to G, mm-hmm. and one neck which is tuned to E, but it's tuned right-handed. Yeah, well, it's a dedicated slide guitar, but uh, my brother was right-handed, and uh, my dad, um, he got him a, he got him a guitar for Christmas, and he got me a shotgun. And I, <laughs> I'm playing guitar, and my brother didn't argue with me, <laughs> but I didn't, uh, I respect him. I didn't change the strings around. Well, I did okay. once or twice. And I said this ain't worth it, <laughs> so I just learned how to play the other yeah. way. By the time I could get my own guitar for it, it was, uh, it was so it, it, it's unique in in the way that you play, like. I, uh, People say that, but I'm just trying to, just to love the guitar. Tell me, what's your influences on, uh, how did you get into music? Where I'm from, um, it's a real small town. Yeah. But there was an old saying back there, you either pick cotton or guitar. <laughs> and I picked cotton, I, I didn't it. like it. But you got people like Conway Twitty. Yep. He's from there, Sonny Boy Williamson. Oh, yeah. Levon Helms. Wow. Charlie Rich. And if you cross the river there, which Helen is right on the Mississippi River. Oh, they're just 15 miles. You've got so many of the blues artists. It's just most of them came from around there, and, yeah. and they played a lot in Helena. There was a, a Catholic church there that had a gym, and they used to rent it out to them. So they, they used to have these big shows there once a month, twenty-five cents. Twenty-five cents. And and you could go, but around there you could, I mean, on a given night you could see Elvis Presley, or Conway, or, yeah. or uh, um, I mean, it was just all this entertainment there, and I took it for granted. I thought that's the way it was everywhere. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know any better. got some new music coming out too you got an album coming well i've got four cds out now i'm doing one now i'm not a big hurry i just i did hear a while back a, a soundtrack for an australian movie called yabo up the gut bill hunter directed that it's a oh, comedy another one. Yeah. yeah i did the soundtrack for oh that. wow and uh, 
I did some things for some different That's people. That's Jacko, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was him and uh, my next one neighbor, Wart Capper. Oh. <laughs> he's he's all right. He's all right <laughs> in his sleep, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, but I've been busy doing a lot of things like that, and um, and but at the same time, I've got a lot of new music I've written. It, you know, as as an artist, you 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 feel like you get better yeah. as a writer too. And I've got some songs that, that I think are really good that I want to record, but I'm just taking my time at home That's in the it. studio that I have there and getting them the way I want them instead of going in a studio where time is money and you've got some producer saying, no, we're going to make it a three-minute song, we're going to change the tempo, and it takes what you've worked on guitar totally out of it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them will do that, and so I'll say, I'm doing this one the way I want to do it. Yeah. 